Hey everyone, Ash here, Everything MTG. Today we're opening 24 set boosters from the Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings set. So let's crack them and see what we can find. So here we go, 24 set booster packs of Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth. So what do we want to pull today? I'm still looking for those borderless foil scene cards that make up the big 18 card scene. Still need uh, the Witch King, Vangmar, Legolas, and which is the other one, the biggest in Minas Tirith, they're the big ones that I need. You cannot pass. Lost to Legend, Grim of Wormtongue, Lorith the Healing House, Mirkwood Bats, Borderless, and Boromir, Warden of the Tower and a foil Grom the Gatebreaker and we've got an endoskeleton first list card pack number two so yeah we'll obviously uh, we'll take any of the, the nice mythics as well Aragorn the Uniter is one of my favourite cards I can't wait to build a commander deck out of that if you've not seen him it's just like uh, go and have a look it's insane or, or stay tuned and we'll pull one second to last pack I'm calling it Ugluk, White Hand of the White Hand, Gorberg of Minas Morgul, Saruman's Trickery, Saruman the White himself, Samwise the Stout Hearted Showcase, and Doors of Durin. That's actually one that I haven't pulled yet. The, uh, very handy in a Dwarf Elf deck. I like that. And a Foil Miramir Guardian. Number three. Any of you who watched me crack the last booster box as well will know that some of these I'm going to pronounce awfully. So uh, please do just go with it. Shout at me in the comments below. If you've got any questions as well, hit us up in the comments below. We'll uh, try and reply to as many as we can. Grishnach, Brash Instigator. Grond the Gatebreaker. Goblin Fire Leaper. A Legolas Counter of Kills Showcase. And Gimli, Mournful Avenger, Borderless. And a Smeagol Helpful Guide. And a Mirkwood Bat, Swan from the scene, foil, foil, Borderless Foil from the big 18 card scene. I do already have that one. But still look gorgeous. And lesson again, I said it so much, but the foiling in this set is oh, so good. And a ring gets falling apart. Next pack. Ema the Riddermark, Erkenbrand, Lord of Westfold, Prince Imrahil the Fair, and what we just got a sneak peek of, the Grey Havens Borderless, and Born Upon a Wind. We've got a foil Norman Art for Mirkwood Bats. next pack no mythics just yet or any of the big hitters but we've still got plenty of time yet Faramir field commander Drunadain rangers shortcuts to mushrooms knights of dol amroth borderless and horn of the mark and we've got a foil slip on the ring All right, let's keep this train rolling Still hunting that good stuff. Mm -hmm. That one smoked good. This is going to be a good one. What have we got? What have we got? Barrow Blade. Frodo Baggins himself. Gollum Patient Plotter. Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant. It's borderless. And another Born Upon a Wind. And Foil Pelagrius Survivor. And a Dwarven Blood Boiler. Tap and untap dwarf, you control target creature gets plus two O oh, until end of turn. Nice list card, flavorful with this set. Let's go again. Hmm. What's everyone's favorite Lord of the Rings character, by the way? I've been meaning to ask that. I think mine has to be Legolas, big Legolas fan. Love a good bow and arrow. Love elves. Got that elvish hair. <laughs> Samwise the Stout Hearted. Tale of Tinuvale. 
of Strands, Ferrea of Orcs Borderless, and Eleanor Gardner. And there's Aragorn. That's what we like to see. First mythic of the day, Aragorn the Uniter. Just read him out for those who haven't got it. It's four colours, everything but black. Whenever you cast a white spell, create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a blue spell, scry 2. Whenever you cast a red spell, Aragorn United deals 3 damage to target opponent. Whenever you cast a green spell, target creature gets plus 4, plus 4 until end of turn. Worth noting, if you don't know as well, if you were to cast a multicolor spell, say a white, blue, and red spell, you get all three of those triggers. So you get to create a 1 1 white human soldier, scry 2, and it'll do 3 damage to something. A 4 mana 5 5 with all those abilities. That is fantastic. And we've got a foil the mouth of Sauron. And spirit. So one big hit that we've got there with Aragorn. Still looking at Gandalf the White is another one. I said in the last video I would really like to see. I'd love to make a commander deck with him and mono white commander. I don't have any mono white commanders. The only monocolor deck I have is black. Ring sight. Fiery Inscription, Bitter Downfall, a Showcase Faramir Field Commander, and Shelob, Child of Ungoliant. Another nice commander there for the Spider deck. And Foil Generous Ent. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you are the same, but. Lord of the Rings has just been uh, one of my favourite fantasy things for a, for a long, long time and I've played Magic for maybe 15 years now and for the two to come together it's uh, so much fun. Ranger's Firebrand, Gollum's Bite, Gandalf's Sanction, Council's Deliberation and Pippin's Bravery Borderless. And Gimli Mournful Avenger, is that rare? with a foil, Lorith the Healing House. If you would like to find out a little bit more, and I mentioned uh, that I've been playing for 15 years there and I've got a, only a mono black deck as mono colours, but uh, if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, Andy and Rob from the channel at Everything MTG, please subscribe. We've got loads of upcoming videos with loads more pack openings, but we'll also be doing a little bit of a get to know us video where we'll be telling you uh, all of our favourite cars, favourite decks and how we like to play. Goblin Fire Leaper, Fear Fire Foes, a Rare of Orcs, March from the Black Gate, Nasty End Borderless, Scroll of Isildur, and a foil rare, Fall of Care and Dross. Next pack. Fear Fire Foes. Foray of Orcs. March of the Black, from the Black Gate. Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant. Frodo Baggins Showcase and Galadriel of Lothlorien with a foil Samwise the Stout Hearted Showcase very pretty and our list card I almost missed there we've got a Nikhil Spellbomb next pack What's everyone's thoughts on the one ring as well? It seems uh, very, very good for Commander. Price of it's just going up and up at the time of recording. Reprieve, another very good in common. That'll be going into a lot of decks. Faramir Field Commander. Dundane Rangers. Shortcut to Mushrooms. Ring Sight. And Nasty End Boardless. It's one that I've seen a lot of. And Sauron the Necromancer. Not a lot of hype about that card, but I, I'm excited to have a play with it. And Foil Lost to Legend. And Smog. Okay, so we're halfway through. Let's crack on to the next pack. Still only one real big hitter with Aragorn. Let's see what else we can find. Denethor Ruling Steward. Old Man Willow, love that card. 
Rise of the Witch King, Voracious Fell Beast, and a Prince Imrahil the Fair Borderless, and Gloin Dwarf Emissary. Here's a foil Snarling Warg. Fiery Inscription, Bitter Downfall, Ranger's Firebrand, Gollum's Bite, Mirkwood Bats Borderless, and Frodo Sauron's Bane. And a Foil Tom Bombadil, Foil Mythic. That is nice, another cool card. Five colours this time, we're getting all of the colours in our Mythics today. Let's just have a quick read of Tom Bombadil because we haven't uh, actually read him out on the channel at all yet. So he's five mana, one of each colour for a 4-4. Four, four. As long as there are four or more lore counters among sagas you control, Tom Bombadil has Hexproof and Indestructible. Whenever the final chapter ability of a saga you control resolves, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a saga card. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. This ability triggers only once each turn. Wow. So, yeah, if you're playing uh, him as your commander with a lot of sagas in your deck, especially the read ahead sagas, when you can just put them straight down and resolve that final chapter, then that'll trigger Tom. That's a awesome card. Looking forward to having a play with that one as well. On to the next one. Gandalf's Sanction. Council's Deliberation. Stone of Eric, the Bath Song, Ferocious Felbeast Borderless, and Lost Isle Calling with a foil nasty end. Ooh, that dagger glints nicely, doesn't it? And a Malira's Keepers. Can't have counters placed on it. Five mana four four. Nothing too special there. Keep it going then. Stone of Eric, the Bath Song, the Grey Havens, Glorfindel, Dauntless Rescuer, Quick Beam Upstar Tent, Borderless, and the Mount Doom. Very nice. I saw that at the pre release for the first time. It's uh, an awesome landing, and all the legendary lands in this set are very, very nice. Uh, that one's very cool. And Ents Fury. Foil. On to the next pack. Oh, yeah, we've had a few, uh, few mythics over the last few packs. Let's keep them coming. The Grey Havens. Glorfindel, Dauntless Rescuer. Arwen Undomiel. Celeborn Wise. Nasty End Boardless and Horn of Gondor, the Foil Gimli Counter of Kills. So here we go, pack number 18. This marks two thirds through our packs today. We're not doing too bad so far. Old Man Willow, Rise of the Witch King, Gracious Fell Beast, Lash of the Bellrog Boardless. And an Ema, Marshal of Rohan, Borderless. Again, another one of those art cards. Right, I'm after the four ones, I believe. I've actually already got the four one of these. And a Mines of Moria as well. The Foil Dunland Crebin. Crebane. That one's got to be one that I'm saying wrong. Let me know, as I say in the comments below, how to pronounce that. Okay, the final stretch. Let's keep these coming thick and fast. Arwen Undomiel, Celeborn the Wise, Mirror of Galadriel, Legolas, Counter of Kills. It's a Gimli Counter of Kills, one of my favourite scenes in the movies. Friendly Rivalry, and Many Partings, Borderless. They're the King of the Oathbreakers, and a foil Arwen Undomiel.
Gimli, Counter of Kills. There he is to go with Legolas. Rising of the Day. Shadow Fax, Lord of Horses. Fun card. Oath to Greyhost. Dunlin Crabane. Borderless. And the Fall of Gilgalad. With a foil Errand Rider of Gondor. And our list card is Eidolon of the Great Revel. I think we need one more big hit we're after, I think, and this is uh, this has been a successful pack, we can call it. Gandalf, Friend of the Shire. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Horses of the Brunin. End Drought Basin. Rev Orcs Borderless and a Samwise Gamgee with a foil Old Man Willow. Okay, three packs to go. Very nearly there. Long list of the Ents. Entish Restoration and Quick Beam Up Start End. Triple Ents there. Nasty End Borderless and a Nazgul. Haven't talked about the Nazgul's today, but the most expensive uncommon from the set. Uh, again, that's not one that I've had yet. The, the red hood, looking good. Merry, a squire of Rohan. And foil Galadrim guide. Hmm. Okay, I think we can count that Nazgul as a big hit. It's uh, still selling for over a tenner. Not bad at all for Uncommon, so yeah, it's not been a bad pack. Land Rover, Horizon Witness. Meneldor, Swift Saviour. Gwaihair, the Windlord. Stern Scolding, great counter spell. Legolas, Counter of Kills, Showcase. And Irmir, Marshal of Rohan. With another foil rare, it's Scroll of Isildur this time. Okay, we're on to the last pack. Let's crack it and see what we've got. Shadow Summoning, Theoden, King of Rohan. The Mouth of Sauron. Dunlan Cobain. And Eleanor Gardner again, with a Witch King of Angmar. Another mythic to finish us off. Not quite the borderless foil version that I'm looking for for the art set, but still a very beautiful card. And a foil Frodo Baggins showcase, with an exhaustion on the back there from our list card. So we've not done too bad for ourselves there. We've got four Mythics and our Nazgul as well. Not too bad at all, we'll take that. Let me know what your favorite pool was. I think mine's got to be that foil Tom Bombadil. It's very, very nice there. I'm looking forward to playing with that. And again, let's just uh, take a second to admire how pretty the artwork is. Brilliant. So thank you so much for watching Ash here, Everything MTG. Please do like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, you want to see some more of it. We've got loads more pack openings coming up as well as some gameplay with some pack wars as well, which we're very excited to bring to you and some fun stuff that I don't think you're going to have seen before. So we're really excited about it. Thanks so much for being a part of it and we'll see you in the next video.